This is Crystal Fenn with MedPage Today. I'm here at the American Heart Association meeting in New Orleans where I'm speaking with Dr. Barry Massey from the University of California, San Francisco, about a trial he's reported here on the use of the angiotensin receptor blocker, Herbisartin, for heart failure patients with a preserved ejection fraction. So, Dr. Massey, in this study, you did not find a significant benefit for either the primary or secondary outcomes in the, the findings that you reported here and in the New England Journal of Medicine. So what do you think the clinical implications are? Should physicians continue using this class of drugs in patients with preserved ejection fraction? Uh, well, absolutely yes, when it's appropriate for all the things they have. Uh, these are excellent antihypertensive agents, very well tolerated. In our trial, there was no evidence of anything harmful occurring. There were dropouts for side effects, intolerance of any type was exactly the same between the placebo and herbisartan. Uh, it was, it was, even though other drugs with similar mechanisms were being used in these patients, we did not un under, uh, encounter the problems that have recent uh, trials have when they added too many of them together and got hypotension, renal dysfunction, hyperkalemia very little of that, uh, possibly because uh, the accompanying medicines weren't used in quite as high doses in those trials. So these patients are hypertensive. Uh, their blood pressure definitely needs to be controlled. Uh, and uh, uh, any of the drugs that we use for high blood pressure, I think, are, are appropriate to use in these patients. But most of us believe, you know, a combination of at least one drug that interferes with the renin angiotensin system uh, together with another class of drugs such as diuretics, beta blockers, and calcium channel blockers that can be necessary. And our patients were on close to three antihypertensive drugs. So no reason to stay away from these drugs, but probably no good reason to reach for them specifically, thinking that this would be a better way to go, which is the way physicians have felt for some time. Now, this has proven a very difficult group of patients to, to find an effective treatment for that would improve outcomes. Um, what do you think the, the implications are as far as um, the understanding of the disease? Yeah, this it is a tough uh, group of patients to find uh, something for, and I think uh, your question uh, gets right to the heart of the point. We all think we know what causes this, and we think we understand the pathophysiology, but I'm beginning to feel much more agnostic about that nowadays. Uh, you know, it is more, it, hypertension is there. You rarely will encounter a patient who doesn't have this with the right diagnosis. Uh, but uh, there are other things wrong. Uh, the heart doesn't relax perhaps normally. Uh, none of the drugs that have been tried will improve relaxation. And unfortunately, we don't have drugs that do yet, but we should be looking. Uh, the vas vascular abnormalities in these patients are very important. And perhaps a drug that will improve decreased vascular stiffness would be good. Uh, certainly the renin angiotensin system is involved and we can improve it a little bit, but people are investigating drugs that affect the amount of fibrosis and collagen in the blood vessels that makes them stiff. And that's what I think we need to do. We have to go back to the drawing board and understand the pathophysiology, find targets for which patients are not already receiving drugs and uh, hope that in this way we can actually add something to the therapy. Now, these people are doing much better as all of our heart failure patients than they were once, I think largely because of the high level of blood pressure control that physicians are, are trying to accomplish in these patients. Uh, there's no, that, no doubt that that helps. And that's, if we want a clinical message, continue treating the blood pressure of patients who have this form of heart failure. More importantly, treat the blood pressure for people who don't have this form of heart failure because every trial in hypertension is shown if you take systolic blood pressure and lower it, you prevent about half the new onset of heart failure. And that's the way to stop this disease at the moment is to prevent it. Well, thank you, Dr. Massey. I'm Crystal Fenn, MedPage Today.